All right, so another thing to tell y'all guys is I came out recently. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. All right, y'all, got a saucy, dirty, finger-licking, filthy one for you today, and I'm doing my best Ken Domic impression, and that is because I got chili cheese nachos from a corner store. He's always eaten out of, like, convenience stores and gas stations. These are homemade wings, extra saucy, nice and mild and crispy, just how I like it. I grabbed an extra container at the store when I was getting these chili cheese chos, okay? So we got the corn tortilla rounds, a nice saucy vid. I got a bunch of shit to talk about. And uh, also we have a polar pop. We're not pouring up, but we are sipping on a fresh, and I mean a fresh fountain root beer with the perfect ice crystals. If you know, you know. Watch this. It's that crunchy, chewable ice. Okay, you guys know me. I got sauces on the side. I got ranch for the wings. We'll bust that out momentarily. But for now, I wanted to let you guys experience the saucing of the chili cheese chose. So we're definitely going to go hella sour cream. And we're going to talk about sauce queen a little bit probably in this one <laughs> and ken domic kvd productions if you don't know him this is the the green tomatillo salsa that we used in the fajitas video and then i got just a little bit of valentina to drizzle on there too okay i haven't had a nachos like this and i don't know how long right these are those well apparently corner store nachos but they're also those uh, movie theater nachos. They are your uh, hockey game nachos. They're your sporting event nachos. And apparently, they're your Circle K nachos. Now, I didn't realize. Or notice that my little local store here even sold these until recent. I never noticed the pump action cheese and the pump action um, chili sauce until one day I was hung over a while ago. And I went in there for a pop. And then I saw the hot dogs. So I was like, oh, I'll get a hot dog. And then I saw, like, the cheese. And, uh... Chili in the, uh... In the pump action. I was like, oh, shit. I gotta get a chili cheese chose one of these days. And today's that day. And they're so good. Lightly soggy from the ride home, but oh well. Speaking of KBD, Ken Domic.
I often wonder if I'm his long lost son. <laughs> I feel like he could secretly be, be my dad. My YouTube food dad. But then when I realize how much hate that he has, I don't want to be related. <laughs> Okay, a little swap for the wings so I can dip in this ranch. Okay, a little saucy homemades. I'll be honest, I liked Ken Domic, I like KBD. Always used to watch them. Never saw the problem with him. But a lot of people don't like him. Apparently he's been pretty rude over the years. But maybe he just got sick of getting hated on and kind of bit back. I don't know. Either way. I always thought he was decent, liked his content. Mm. I also got asked in the comments recently because I brought my own ranch container to uh, a truck muck. A Papa John's one more specifically. I got asked if I was Sauce Queen's long lost son. I could see how you might make that saucy connection. But I'm going to have to say no on that one because that would mean that I'd be attracted to my mom. <laughs> and I assure you, that I am no Oedipus Rex. Shout out to you if you know what that means. Wings are too perfect. Clean them bones. All right, so another thing to tell y'all guys. I came out recently. No. Not that way. Not the way you're thinking. Not in a gay way. <laughs> I've always hidden my channel. From anyone and everyone. around me that I once knew that I possibly could. A bunch of people had become aware of it. I know some people are aware of it, but they pretend like they don't know kind of thing or they just don't bring it up in conversation because You probably know from watching that I don't really want to talk about it. But I still have a Facebook, yes. 
I don't know why I have a Facebook, mainly for Messenger. Mainly for Messenger, a very boomer-esque platform. Let's sour cream this thing up a bit. Might as well hit it with a, might as well hit it with a tomatillo while we're at it. Amazing. Anyways, on my Facebook, I have a lot of family, friends from the past, and uh, aunts, uncles type things like that. And uh, the other day, I just decided to do a write up kind of explaining my channel, what it is, how it came to be, why I do it, a bunch of things that have transpired from making a channel. I just outed myself because I was always living in this paranoia especially now that I live back home where I'm from I'm going out in the world and being like Am I going to have to talk about it with somebody? Am I going to have to explain it? Do they know about it? Do they not know about it? So I just figured I would re reveal myself. Make it known. And just be done with living in paranoia. that I eat like a weird 12 year old savage sometimes, not all the time, on the internet. Sometimes I cook. Sometimes meals aren't this insane. But most times they are because A, I love this food and B, People like to watch people eat this type of food, right? So I'm free now. I've released myself from the shackles of the fear of opinions of others and like having to explain the shit and whatever and just like not caring anymore. So you like it or you don't. This is the thing. Uh, I got to read sauce these up. I feel like they're all dried up. This is a definite sauce queen move. And just back to speaking on what I'm speaking on. That's why I actually admire Kristen sauce queen a lot is because like speaking of Facebook speaking of Facebook she has her real name on there and she always encouraged anybody and everybody from the internet to like go to her Facebook, follow her there, learn more about her personal life, like who she really is. And she was never afraid to just be the person 
doing that thing on the internet. Like she did not give a shit about really what other people thought in her direct vicinity. And you guys know I've never, like I've just been trying to be anonymous. Like I want to be found anonymously on the internet, have that life, and then have my personal life and have the two worlds not meet, but they met. So it's like, I might as well just collide them at this point, right? Can't hide forever. And I should say, in uh, revealing myself that way, there was a lot of support. People were very supportive. They didn't, like, hate on me or anything. You know what I mean? They're just like, that's cool. Keep doing what you're doing. That's interesting. Whatever makes you happy, kind of deal. It was nice to be able to preface the link to my channel with you know, a fairly detailed explanation of, of what this all is, how it came to be, what tr what transpired to get here, what it is now. So before they even click the link, really, if they take the time to read, it's like they're entering into the space. With some understanding. people I know. If they so choose, get to watch me be a wing savage. You guys know, you guys know I always kind of try to keep it clean. A little bit respectful. <laughs> These wings are great though. Barwings. They're coming down to the temperature where they don't just slide off easy. You kind of got to gnaw them off. we all know here has never been a problem for me. Right down the cartilage. Rip those tips. man's appearance. So to anybody who is new that I know that's watching, yep, I'm this weird. <laughs> Mm. 
but apparently thousands upon thousands or even millions at this point of other people are too <laughs> who knew in the future this style of food entertainment would be a thing. I could have never called it. But it's real. And it's delicious and fun to do. And it makes you money. This is not a trip. Final wing. I know somebody's going to ask. I know somebody will ask, how'd you make these? Like I always say. Put them in a bowl, right from the package. Canola oil, toss them in a coating of that. Salt, air fryer, 400 for like 30 minutes, but flip at 15. You can do them in the oven just like that too. 35, 40 minutes on 400 or so. You go 420 if you want, extra crispy. You know, it might just crisp them up a little harder, a little faster, but uh, pretty much the final bite. One more. And they come out like crispy little bar wings. I let them rest for like mm, 10 minutes. And it's awesome. And they're perfect. All right. Saucy. <sighs> Saucy, messy, but sometimes food it be like that. Some of the best foods are the messiest foods. Sauce is the greatest thing that ever happened to food, in my opinion. So, would you, like, would you want a, a pasta, an Alfredo, with, like, no sauce? No, you want that thing sauced up, right? You want your pasta, any pasta really with no sauce? No, you want that thing sauced up. So, sauce is the best thing that ever, ever happened to food, in my opinion. I'm a saucy guy. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay saucy, stay true. <laughs>